Hey guys, it's Landon from Redefine Horizons. We're going to continue that set of tutorial videos on raw data review in Trimble Business Center. You remember in the last video, we figured out that we're missing a coordinate for this control point 10,010. That's why we're getting a lot of these uh, red flag values on our points. These points can't be computed because we're missing that uh, control point coordinate for 10,010 and and you remember in the last video I said I would identified the source of that problem that point is actually in a different data collector file that hasn't been imported into the project and so we're gonna go ahead and import that other file and see if that fixes our problem so you can see right now I've only got one data collector file in the project okay this was the data data collector file from the 10th of January it was done by party chief DB so we're gonna go ahead and and on the home tab hit import and we're going to go import the second file. So this was done on the 12th. Okay, and we're going to see if we import that, that point, if it fixes our problem. Now, you'll notice whenever you have a project that's already got points in it, when you import a data collector file, TBC is going to look at the contents of the data collector file, and then it's going to look at the contents of the project, the point database in the project, and it's going to say, do I have any points with the same number? And so in this case, it does. If it finds that, it's got points, they call them duplicate points, it's going to pull up this box, this merge, merge points dialog box. And it's going to ask you, what do you want to do with those duplicate points? This is similar to when you import a point file into AutoCAD Civil 3D and it finds duplicates. Okay. So what it's telling us here is it's got a 10,001 in the project and a 10,001 in the data collector file and that they have the same exact coordinate. Okay. And if that difference in the coordinates for your duplicate point is within the tolerance we set in the project settings it's just going to automatically check the merge box okay so i'm just going to scroll through here you can see these are almost all exactly the same coordinate and so we're going to go ahead and hit import now you'll notice some of these have a question mark these are the control points that i've got flagged in red and because it doesn't have a coordinate in the project it doesn't know how to give me a comparison so it's giving me that question mark but that's okay we're going to go ahead and tell it Yep, I want you to import and merge those points. Okay, in other words, don't create duplicate points. All right, now when we do that, we're going to drop down our point node, and you'll notice immediately 10,010 is no longer red. When we pull up the properties, now we've got a coordinate value. And because we have a coordinate value on 10,010, all those other points that were shot from 10,010 are also no longer flagged. Remember I told you it ripples or waterfalls through the project. All right, so we found our missing point, took care of a bunch of our errors. Now, just out of morbid curiosity, I have no idea what we're going to find here. Now, let's go in and see how was this point shot, this 10,010. So, to find that out, we're going to go to the point derivation report. And all right, it's going to tell us 10,010 was actually shot from 10,008. Here's the total station vector. Okay, that's what it tells me. So, this is telling me I've got a, a coordinate file, excuse me, a coordinate value for that point from this file in the data collector and it's also telling me that same point was shot from 10,010 and essentially they're the same coordinate. Alright, so we know how that point was created. So apparently when it was shot from 10,008 at some point in this previous data collector file, this first file here, it was later deleted from that file but thankfully the value was in the subsequent file here on the 12th. Okay. Now you'll notice we haven't gotten rid of all of our flags. And so that's the that's the first step to raw data review, right? Is you want to go through and try and eliminate all your flags. So we got rid of the flags on a bunch of those points, but you can see now I've got flags on these vectors. And almost all of these flags are from the same error. And it's actually not a really it's not really a true error. It's just a, a something we need to tweak in our project settings. So let's go ahead and highlight this vector. Now you'll notice these vectors are a slightly different color. These are kind of a yellower green. Okay, so these, these kind of light green vectors, that's just a regular side shot total station vector. Okay, these vectors that are more of a yellow green, that's when you've done a direct and reverse observation. Okay, so when you do that, TBC will mean those angles from your direct and reverse, and it creates this different kind of baseline. And you'll notice that almost all of my vector flags now are on these meaned angles. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select this one, this meaned angle. And we're going to hover over the flag, and it tells me, hey, your two angles, vertical angles, are out 18 seconds. That's why it's flagging the vector. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to tweak the way our settings are, project settings, 
for those mean angles. Okay, and we didn't do that before when we set up the project. So you come in here to project settings. Okay, we're going to go down to the computations node here. Okay, we set our point tolerances, but we need to set the tolerances for our mean angles. Now you can see right now these are pretty tight at three seconds and three seconds. I can't turn angles that good, and apparently neither can my field crew. So we're going to go ahead and give this some values that I feel are more reasonable. I'm going to say, go ahead and flag it if it's over 45 seconds. Yeah, we're going to do 45 seconds in the vertical, and we're going to do 30 seconds in the horizontal. Now, if you've got a really good total station, so a, a one or two second gun, and you're turning angles with the right instrument that has locking knobs, you know, usually I can get my spread around 10 seconds. But these are, robot these are robotic total stations. They've got the servo knobs, not the locking knobs. And so our mean angles just aren't going to be that tight in my experience. Okay, so we're going to hit OK. Now, when you do that, you can see it recomputes there. It went really fast, but there was a bar there where it was recomputing all the values. You can also trigger that right here with this button on this top toolbar. Okay, this red button is Compute Project. And you can see when I do that, almost all those error flags on my mean values went away. Now we've still got a flag over here we need to check out. So we're going to go in and see what's going on with this point. Now you'll notice this is just a regular total station observation, okay? And I've got two shots here, okay? From 10,011 to 26,305, okay? But they're different vectors. This is 1053, total station vector 1053. This is total station vector 1093. So we're going to go ahead and just select this point and hover over our flag. Now what it tells me is I've got two coordinate values for the same point number, okay, but they're way apart, right? So we, we want to know what's going on there. How come we're having that problem? So I'm going to right click on it, pull up that menu and say, go to the point derivation report. Show me how the values for this point were coordinated. So you can see here, it's giving me the same information. So the first coordinate was calculated from this vector, total station vector 1053. The second coordinate was calculated from this vector, total station 1093, and you can see, man, these things are these things are way apart, right? This is 100 feet horizontally and almost a foot different vertically, these two point values, okay? Now, I just know from experience, when I see something like that, that what's probably happened here is the crew has accidentally used the same point number twice, okay? So we've actually got two different points here shot with the same number. So what we want to do is we want to separate those. Okay, and I'm going to show you the easy way to do that. So what I want to do is see what's my next available topo point number. So I'm going to drop down my list. That's one good thing TBC can be used for is find out what your next available point number is. So I can see this is my last topo shot here based on my company's uh, point ranges. Okay, so my next available number is going to be 26690. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click left click on this point to select it. Now, because there's more than one object there, oh, sorry, the vector, click on the vector. Because there's one more vector, it gives me a choice, okay? Which vector do I want? Now, this is the first vector, which means the second vector is the one that's got the wrong point number on it. So I'm going to pick that second vector, okay? So here's the information for that second vector. And then I'm just going to go ahead and change this point ID for the foresight point. So we're going to make it 26690, a next available point number. I'm going to hit Enter. Now, as soon as I do that, you'll notice in my point list, I've got a new point now, 26690. So we're going to go ahead and right-click on this and center on that point. All right, something's going on here. Let's see what's wrong with this guy. 26690. Let's try a recompute. All right, there we go. Sorry, I had to manually trigger that recompute. Now we'll center. Okay, now you can see this is the real location for that point is down here at 26,690. And you can see when I did that, we got rid of that flag, right? Because it doesn't think those two points are the same now. All right, now just out of morbid curiosity, I see I've got another point right here. So I'm going to come. I'm just curious how far apart these are. So I'm going to go to my ribbon, measure distance, inverse, and we're going to check the difference between these two points. Okay, so these are only 200s apart. So here's what happened. My crew shot that point with the wrong point number, right? They realized their mistake, and then they just reshot it with this new number, 26344, okay? So I really don't need this other point here. I've got duplicate points, right? But there's no way to figure that out till you split up those observations like we did, okay? So what I want to do just to confirm, yeah, that's what the crew did. This is really the same shot. 
Okay, we're just gonna pull up our properties and make sure these have the same feature code. So this is chain link fence, six foot end. Chain link fence, six foot end. So now I'm pretty comfortable. Those are the same shot. We're gonna right click on those after we select them and just say delete. Okay, run our recompute. All right, now, we can go to view, zoom extents. I don't have any more flags. Okay, so my data's looking pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. All right, in the next video, I'm gonna show you the next step I take when I review my raw data.